Moving on now, the first woman and the next man to walk on the moon's surface. This could happen in the next two years. That is if the NASA-led Artemis program, a new generation of lunar exploration missions, succeeds to fly its Ryan spacecraft near the moon in their first uncrewed test. Now this next report explains. The global space community is preparing for another history-making mission. Humanity's return to the moon. The Artemis missions will lay the foundation for sustainable human and robotic exploration of Earth's only natural satellite, the Moon. The European Space Agency is overseeing the development of the European Service Module or ESM, the part of the Orion spacecraft that provides air, electricity and propulsion. So the first mission will bring us uh, un uncrewed to the Moon. And uh, the second vehicle is then a vehicle which will bring NASA's planning four astronauts to the moon, just circling around the moon. And then the third one, that's the one which is bringing the first astronaut and the first uh, man and woman back again after Apollo to the moon. In a launch expected early 2022, Orion and its attached ESM-1 are expected to fly near the moon, but not land. Its 32 thrusters will propel Orion into orbit around the moon and then back to Earth. It's not the first time that we are assembling a big uh, spacecraft for human-rated flights. Uh, so we know the processes, how to do that. However, uh, on every spacecraft you learn something, how to do it better the next time. So how to improve and do it faster. Uh, and that is uh, what we learn from ESM-1 to ESM-2 and th the same would be also from ESM-2 to 3 and that will be ongoing up to we have a serial production. Like the Apollo program over 50 years ago, Artemis will begin with missions around the moon before a mission that lands on the lunar surface. During later missions, astronauts will dock Orion on the lunar gateway a small space station to which Canada is contributing a smart robotic system, Canadam 3. The gateway is critical to sustainable lunar exploration and will serve as a model for future missions to Mars. From the gateway, astronauts will be able to venture to the lunar surface. This is the first time in uh, history where ESA developments are on the critical path of a development and a space mission from NASA. Uh, the service module is really key uh, for the Orion vehicle and for NASA achieving the Artemis mission. So this has been going very well uh, with NASA. We are very pleased with the outcome. And uh, this is paving the way for continued cooperation for the years to come. Public and commercial organizations within the international space community are developing a range of vehicles that will help enable human exploration missions to the Moon and Mars. They all hope that the Munikin will succeed, paving way to blasting off humans to the Moon by 2024. Bureau Report, We On, Wild is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.